Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of Farmer George. On today's episode, I show you how to transplant seedlings into hydroponic solution. And this particular hydroponic method is called the Kratky method. K-R-A-T-Y, Kratky, I think that's how you spell it. If you've been following along on my videos, I germinated uh, some of my secret pepper crosses about, it's uh, January 10th today, so exactly 31 days ago. And I want to show you the size of my pepper. So this is one of the peppers that I have. I have three crosses. And let's just show you. You see the little root hanging out? Right, that white thing. So I waited until this point to transplant this seedling into hydroponics because uh, I wanted to make sure I had enough roots dangling and I at least have this amount of roots, the size of the solo cups here. They're gonna be drinking nutrients and water without the use of any soil. They're, the roots are just gonna be suspended in that solution. So I wanted to make sure I have enough so that the roots can adequately branch out and soak up all that goodness. Um, and I'll show you some nuances when we put together the, the little system I have going on. The benefits of the, this hydroponic setup inside is that it's really easy to crossbreed peppers inside because you control the environment. It doesn't get too hot. Um, there's no wind for cross-pollination. There's no bugs for cross-pollination. Um, so I'm really trying to, to crossbreed these as fast as possible. And hydroponics really, um, you'll, the plants just really explode and take off. So this is my F1 cross. My intent with this um, indoor hydroponic cracky method is to get a ripe pepper from these plants in hopes to uh, get the second generation, the F2 generation, um, so directly outside once it gets warmer. So let's go down to the garage and I'll show you exactly what tools you'll need and I'll show you the method. All right, so the tools and supplies you're gonna need starting from the left to the right are lava rocks, a marker, a cauterizing pin or scissors, shears or scissors, a pepper plant obviously that you're going to use, hydroponic solution and I'm using the general hydroponic grow series. You see the three different types there. You got the flora bloom, the flora grow, and the flora micro. And then you're going to have your container where you're going to put your plant. Then you're going to have some rock wool and then you're going to have a net cup and then finally duct tape because you're going to use that as a label. Before I begin any transplanting I always label my peppers because you don't want to be up, <laughs> you don't want to be surprised later on when the pepper you think uh, you're growing turns out to be something else. I've only done one pepper cross that was successful this year, so um, I know what the code is. So you always put the seed plant first and the pollen plant second. Um, and then this one is going to be number three because I have three plants and this is my third plant. I use duct tape for labels on my uh, the uh, containers I use for hydroponics. So I'm just going to stick the label straight on there and then it comes off easily. So now that we have the label on our container, we're going to cauterize the net cup. This is what's called a net cup, an NET net cup because it kind of looks like a, a net, like a basketball net, I guess. Um, what you want to do here is you want to take away these this bottom liner almost um, so that no roots get stuck in there, especially if you want to transplant the plant. Uh, I'm not sure if I want to transplant this one outside or not, so just to be safe, I'm going to use my cauterizing pen um, to heat up <clears throat> and uh, basically just cut through the plastic here. Um, and the cauterizing pen, all it is, is just a wicked hot piece of metal, and uh, it just slices through plastic like butter. I've used this for making holes in solo cups. You can see that in my other video about transplanting pepper seeds. And this doubles for just, see that? Pops right out. Now that's done. You can set that aside and we'll next cut the rock wool, R-O-C-K, wool, like sheep's wool. All right, now I got my scissors, so I can just trim this back. There 
there you go. What I'm going to do is I'm going to pop this rock wool out, and then we're going to make a little slit here. Just cut it like that so that the plant, it opens up. I don't want to open up all the way because it's brittle, very brittle. So all you need to do is open it like this, and we're going to slide the plant in. Okay, so that now we have our plant here. I just wanted to show you again. Here is here's the root, this little white root sticking out there. If I tilt it, there you go, you can see it. So now I know the roots are at least as long as this cup. The roots could be wrapped around themselves, but that'll only be better for me because then more roots can hang in the solution. So I'm gonna take this out and just show you. <clears throat> oh yeah, see? And I can save this for another time, but we got some nice roots all around the cup. So I'm gonna break this up rinse off the roots, and then I'll be back. So the last step in this process is to take your plant and you wanna wash off as much of the roots as possible. But you can see that I got a, a little bit of dirt still. Um, not a big deal. That'll eventually all come off in solution when the roots get bigger. And then when I change the solution, it'll all you know come out anyway. So like I said before, what you're going to do is you're going to put your, uh, your stem in here, so it's holding the stem right there at the base. And then your roots are going to hang from the bottom of this rock wool. We're going to thread the roots through the bottom of the net cup, through the top, and then the bottom of the net cup. And then we're just going to pop it right in the top of our little jug here. So let's do that. But first, I'm going to fill up the jug, not all the way. Probably, let's see, the net cup will sit right about there, right about the la the label. So I'm going to go right up to about the three in here, um, the number three, because it's important when you're doing hydroponics, roots actually need to breathe air and oxygen. So the roots up top that aren't in submerged in the hydroponic solution are going to be taking in the oxygen from the air. Um, the roots in the bottom dangling in the solution are going to be taking the nutrients in the water that they need. But if you fill it up all the way to the top, you're going to drown your plant and your plant's going to die. So don't want to do that. First things first, I'm going to pour the solution into the jug. And I just use the General Hydroponics Grow Series um, that I showed in the beginning of this video of the tools and supplies that you're going to need. Um, and I followed the uh, the recipe, if you want to call it that, on the on the back. So it's very easy. So I gotta stand up to do this. So I got it right under the label, but let me just show you my plant will easily, it's already, you know, if it's hanging down, it's going to easily hit the bottom of this thing. So that's okay because I don't want to make more solution and I have two other plants to do. <laughs> so we're just going to take a shortcut for now. <clears throat> so like I said before, you're very gently going to open up your rock wool so it doesn't split all the way and put your plant in there. And it should just fall right in. You don't want to damage any of the roots. It's okay if some of the roots are a little bit covered because they'll just come down. But this is what it looks like. See that? And then you just thread it through your net cup. And very gently push it all the way down. I got that. I'm going to put the top of my container here. And then just super easy, pop your plant in your hydroponic solution. And then <clears throat> the last step will be to get your lava rocks and cover up the space underneath the leaves so that no algae forms. And here we have it. We have the, the three pepper plants underneath my LED lights and that's where they're going to stay until we start to get some fruit and that'll probably happen about two months from now. 
All right, so there you have it, everybody. That's how you transfer your pepper plants out of soil containers and put them into hydroponic solution using the Kratky method. So I didn't mention this earlier in the video, but when I was rinsing off the roots, uh, getting rid of most of the soil, uh, I had to be very, very delicate in doing so because you want to preserve as many of the roots as possible. If you damage too many of the roots in this process, you could kill your plant. So just be careful. Um, that's the uh, basically the only hard part of this whole process. So I have plants one, two, and three. I want to hear from you guys in the comment section, which do you think is going to be the first to produce um, a fruit? So it'll kind of be like a little challenge amongst us and uh, I want to know who votes for which plant. Some of them are larger than the others, but you don't know what the root system looks like. So except for the first one. Leave me a comment below which plant you think one, two, or three will produce the first fruit and we'll have a little fun with this. Don't forget, if you click this little pepper logo up top, you can subscribe instantly to my channel. My next episode is gonna be on uh, pruning these using the FIM method. It's the best pruning method that I've found so far. I'm Farmer George. Let's share and grow together. See ya.